How do we set up Facebook login for your premium press theme? Well, let me show you what I'm referring to. If we take a look at the premium directory theme we have in front of me, on the login and registration page, you'll see the section at the bottom that allows the user to log in via social media. So we have Twitter, Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, etc. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the Facebook login so users can log in via Facebook. So the first thing we need to do is log into the admin area and set up our Facebook login options. From the admin area, so if we just go to the overview of WordPress, we click on premium press, we click on user settings, and from this page, we're going to turn on and enable social media login. Now, once you've enabled say, social media login, you'll see additional options now available. And the section we're going to be using in this video tutorial is the Facebook option here. So we need to generate a Facebook API key and a Facebook secret key. So basically we simply follow the link here. It says API keys can be found here. So we open this in a new window and this will take us straight to the Facebook developers page. So once you're on this page, you need to create a new app. So click create app. We select business, click next. We give it a name, so I'm going to call this um, Facebook Login 2, since I've created additional ones already. We're going to app purpose for yourself, for your business, and um, we're going to click Create App. As you can see, it says you cannot use Facebook in the display name, so I'm just going to click um, Social Media SM Login 2. Now once I've created my app, I now need to select the Facebook Login option on the right side here. And this can also be found if you're on the left hand side, just click on add product. And you can use the same option here to add and set up the Facebook login. Okay, on this page, we simply click www for World Wide Web and we enter our website link. So this is the link to our actual website and it must include the HTTPS for our entire website link. Click continue, next. And we just go through the basic process. Now we don't need to manage any of these options. It just creates a basic setup within Facebook that allows us to use the Facebook login system. The most important elements are what I'm going to show you now. So under Facebook login, we have settings. And this is the most important section. As you can see, when you've just created an app, you'll see the section at the top that says your app has a standard access to public profile. To use the Facebook login, which is what we want, switch public profile to advanced access. So we simply click on get advanced access. And all we do is we scroll down and when we see public profile, we click get advanced access. We read the terms and conditions and we agree to the information. Now you should see that the profile access, the public profile access is now in green at the top. So this means that it's now accessible via our Facebook login API. Now let's go back to our um, Facebook login. We click settings. And now we need to set up the valid redirect URL. And this is the most important element because without this, you're going to get errors when logging into the Facebook. So if I go back to my WordPress website, you'll notice where it says callback link. You'll see this link here. Copy and paste the link you have for your website into this valid auth URL link. And this needs to be exactly as it says in the admin area. It's worth noting that if you do not have SSL installed on your hosting accounts, you cannot use Facebook read, uh, social login. You must have HTTPS as part of the callback link. Now scroll down and click on save changes. So that's the most important part, making sure this link here is the correct link. Now let me quickly show you on another window. If you set up your website and you've tested it and you're getting this URL blocked, the redirect failed because the redirect URL is not whitelisted, simply means you've in entered an incorrect URL in this section here. So this error is very common and it really simply relates to this section here. You must enter the correct URL, including the HTTPS, and it must end with the social login equals Facebook. Now, once you've set up this information, there are two important elements we need to take over to our website. So if we go back to the website, you see it's asking for an API key and a secret key. So basically the app ID here is your API key. So we copy and paste this into here. And where it says app secret, we click show, we copy, and we paste this into this section here. 
Make sure you turn Facebook on, scroll down and click save changes. Finally, we can go back to website and test the integration. So we can click on sign in. And as you can see, we have the Facebook login at the bottom. And rather than entering the information, the user can now simply click Facebook login. It will connect to their account. And then they'll automatically be created an account or be able to log in to your website. So there we go. A quick introduction to adding Facebook login to your premium price team. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and I'll continue making content just like this one. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.